we intentionally moved to a non-hierarchical structure oh, okay. several years ago. And as you were talking up one, I was thinking about Crystal Bird Farmer's book. She talks so much about when you can make a space where each person can show up in their unique leadership. Mm-hmm. Actually, it's, it's a collective thing. Mm-hmm. And like you were saying, nope one, the staff are the ones with the most playing pieces in the game. And mm-hmm. so we facilitate more than just the students' experience. We facilitate our council having their leadership roles. We facilitate our ombuds people which I feel like we should talk about what that is. And, and because we see all the moving parts, mm-hmm. and while it's not up to us to do all of that work, we see and hold and facilitate a lot of it. And I think that's very much underneath. And then, you know, the way you spoke about how we hold each other was beautiful and it's so true and it's like, trusting that we're all going to show up in our best and in our leadership and Mm -hmm. we can cover, you know, Mm -hmm. when someone's low percentage, you know, Mm we we're sharing it. This is the agentic schools podcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. I'm your host, Don Berg.